Do you know what specific subjects you need to be studying for the dental admissions test? Let's find out. What's up, everybody? This is Dakota from Dental Pro, and today we're gonna talk about what's on the DAT. Now, if you've already decided to pursue dental school, you'll probably already know that the DAT is comprised of four sections, which include the Survey of the Natural Sciences, the Perceptual Ability Test, Reading Comprehension, and the Quantitative Reasoning section. But within those sections, there are what I like to call subsections. And specifically on the Natural Sciences section, there is a ton of stuff that you could be tested over. This video is going to cover all of these subjects, so bear with me, there's a lot of stuff. For example, the biology section has six topics that you'll be tested over, and those sections include cell and molecular biology, diversity of life, structure and function of systems, developmental biology, genetics, and a section that covers evolution, ecology, and behavior. But now we have to go even deeper to know what's on each of these sections. So here we go. The cell and molecular biology portion may include the origin of life, cell metabolism, cellular processes, thermodynamics, organelle structure and function, mitosis and meiosis, cell structure, experimental cell biology, biomolecules, and integrated relationships. The diversity of life portion will have questions on the biological organization and relationships of major taxa. The structure and function of systems is the anatomy and physiology section, which will cover questions on the integumentary, skeletal, muscular, circulatory, immunological, digestive, respiratory, urinary, nervous system, endocrine, and reproduction. Lots of stuff there. The developmental biology section includes fertilization, descriptive embryology, developmental mechanisms, and experimental embryology. The genetics section includes molecular genetics, human genetics, classical genetics, chromosomal genetics, and genetic technology. The evolution section includes natural selection, population genetics, speciation, population and community ecology, ecosystems, and animal behavior. So that's that for the biology section. Now for the general chemistry section, it's just as involved as the biology section, but instead of six subsections, there's actually 13 subsections that you'll be tested over. And those sections include stoichiometry, gases, liquids and solids, solutions, acids and bases, chemical equilibria, thermodynamics, kinetics, oxidation reduction reactions, atomic and molecular structure, periodic properties, nuclear reactions, as well as lab techniques and safety. So yeah, if we go through all of those individual subsections, let's just talk about the first one, stoichiometry. The stoichiometry section includes percent composition, empirical formulas, balancing equations, moles and molecular formulas, molar mass, density, and calculations from balanced equations. One thing that I should say about the overall science section of the DAT is that you do not get a calculator. So any questions that deal with calculations will need to be done quickly on paper or in your head. The gases section includes kinetic molecular theory of gases, as well as various gas laws from Dalton, Boyle, and Charles, as well as the ideal gas law. Liquids and solids include intermolecular forces, phase changes, vapor pressure, structures, polarity, and properties. Solutions include polarity, colligative properties, forces, and concentration calculations. Acids and bases cover pH, strength, bronsted lowry reactions and calculations. Chemical equilibria includes molecular, acid base, precipitation, calculations, and Le Chatelier's principle. Thermodynamics covers the laws of thermodynamics, Hess's law, spontaneity, enthalpies and entropies, and heat transfer. Kinetics covers rate laws, activation energy, and half-life. Oxidation reduction reactions include balancing equations, determination of oxidation numbers, electrochemical calculations, and electrochemical concepts and terminology. Atomic and molecular structure includes electron configuration, orbital types, Lewis dot diagrams, atomic theory, quantum theory, molecular geometry, bond types, and subatomic particles. Now, periodic properties include representative elements, transition elements, periodic trends, and descriptive chemistry. Nuclear reactions deal with balancing equations, binding energy, decay processes, particles, and terminology. And lastly, the last section on the chemistry portion is the lab section, which deals with basic techniques, equipment, error analysis, safety, and data analysis. Now moving on to the organic chemistry section, there are seven subsections, which include mechanisms, chemical and physical properties, stereochemistry, 
chemistry, nomenclature, synthesis, acid-base chemistry, and aromatics. Now, the mechanism section deals with energetics, structure, elimination, addition, free radicals, substitution, as well as other mechanisms that you may have learned. Chemical and physical properties of molecules include spectroscopy, as well as other lab theories and techniques such as TLC or column chromatography. Stereochemistry deals with chirality, isomer relationships, and conformations. The nomenclature section will test your ability to properly use the IUPAC rules and no functional groups. Synthesis can deal with various functional groups and it will also deal with your knowledge of how to properly use mechanisms to synthesize a specific molecule. Some questions on that section may only be one step but then other problems will have multiple steps for the synthesis of a compound so keep that in mind. Now acid-base chemistry will include ranking acidity or alkalinity and the prediction of products and equilibria. Lastly the aromatic section includes the concept of aromaticity, resonance, atomic and molecular orbitals, hybridization, and bond angles. And that's all for the science section. Woo! Yeah, that was a lot of stuff. That's crazy. Anyway, once you start the PAT section, you will be tested on six subsections in this order. First, apertures, or what I like to call the keyhole section. View recognition, also known as the top front end section. Angle ranking, paper folding, cube counting, and lastly, the 3D form development section. Now, after the PAT section, you will take the reading comprehension test, which doesn't have any subsections. Instead, you'll be required to read three passages on various topics. These topics are not necessarily related to dentistry, and you'll be tested on your ability to comprehend the material, the main points, the author's point of view, among other things, really. And lastly, let's talk about the quantitative reasoning section. So there's five subsections here, and these include algebra, data analysis, interpretation, quantitative comparison, and statistics. The math section will have a basic four function calculator on the computer screen to help you with your calculations. And it looks like this. So there you go. You just went through all of the subsections associated with each part of the DAT. And all in total, there's 280 questions that you will answer on the test. So there's a lot to study for. The biggest thing is to remember that there's no such thing as over preparing for this test. So get out there and study hard. I know you guys can do it. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. We will see you in the next video. Keep living the dream.